In this video, I'll be talking about the expectations of retiring to an Asian country. I imagine you're watching this video as you're considering the Philippines as a good place for you to retire to. Maybe you've visited the country a few times and are looking for the right area to settle. My focus is on Cebu City as that's where I'm living. The Philippines was never on my radar. I've travelled extensively throughout Asia. Asia is my continent. I feel at home here. Whenever I considered taking time off from my jobs in the UK, I would head in this direction, but normally visit India, Thailand, Vietnam or Cambodia. Then through perusing YouTube bloggers Rike and Geo's back catalogues, I was advised to come here. So when I arrived at the airport in Cebu, having spent the previous three months in Bangkok, I sort of knew what to expect. If you visited other Asian countries, the Philippines isn't much of a culture shock. Getting on the bus, the people speaking in a Spanish sounding dialect, I thought I was in a South American country. Not that I've ever visited that continent. Cebuano girls did however remind me of Cuban girls dressed in their skimpy denim shorts. Arriving in Cebu City I'd booked an Airbnb condo off Salinas Drive close to IT Park. Through my research I'd identified the best areas to hang out were IT Park and Cebu Business Park. Don't miss out on quality broadcasting. Please like and subscribe to Big World Cinema. Thank you. I spend a lot of time walking the streets as I am a flaneur. I love going on long walks. For me, it's the only way to get to know a new city by pounding the streets and discovering the lay of the land. In Asia, there's so much life on the streets and in Cebu, particularly downtown around Cologne and Carbon Market, where real life exists. What you've got to understand about retiring to an Asian country is that it isn't like living in the West. This is a foreign country with its own language and culture. You need to lower your expectations, leave your Western ways at the country you've departed from. You need to adapt, become like a local, this might sound like I'm stating the blinking obvious, but I read so many negative comments online from expats who've retired here, bitching about how things are done in the Philippines. I'm sorry bud, but you're going to have to get used to it if you want to survive, if you want to fit in. You need to learn how to chill, relax, do things the Filipino way, otherwise you'll just get frustrated and irritable. If you want, you can join them. Go to the bars and make friends with the other bar stalls living in the city. I'm not a fan of daytime drinking or hanging out with other foreigners, but there are bars and coffee shops they frequent if you want to connect with them. I prefer spending my time doing something. You need to have a purpose, a reason for getting out of bed each morning. You need to do something you enjoy doing. Grow vegetables, write your life story, volunteer in a school. You've worked all your life and you've thought, I can't wait until I retire so I can do nothing all day. Fine, do that, but you'll probably be dead in a few years. Have you heard about the centenarians in Japan's Okinawa Island, nicknamed the Island of Longevity, where residents suffer from low levels of heart disease, cancer and dementia? Their robust social life and strong sense of ikagai, translated as unique purpose in life, often keeps them alive and healthy past the age of 100. I also watched a documentary on Ama, translated as sea women, Japanese divers famous for collecting pearls and seafood, a number of them in their 80s and 90s. If you've got health issues, best live in a big city near a hospital but that won't necessarily save your life. I'm a loner, but that doesn't mean I'm lonely. 
I enjoy company, but I also need me time to read, write, be creative. Check out my other video, What Do Expats Do All Day? Filipinas don't get me time. They see withdrawal as a personal slur, as if you don't want to be with them. Maybe you already have a Filipina girlfriend or wife. Congratulations, Filipinas are kind, considerate, compassionate women. They're also extremely sensitive, madly jealous and clingy. If you're a single guy, the Philippines is your oyster. When I hit 50 back in the UK, I was suddenly invisible. In the Philippines, je suis un rock star. You can meet Filipinas everywhere here, in the flesh or online, no matter what age you are. A favorite expression is, age is just a number. Dating options also are endless. Just proceed with caution. Does the girl want you for you or spend time in more pleasant surroundings than returning to her boarding house each night? Okay. If you're married to a Filipina, you can apply for a 13A permanent residency visa. The Philippines is tourist friendly. You're able to stay here for three years on a tourist visa without needing to leave. Tourist visas for other Asian countries are more restrictive. For Cambodia, two months. Vietnam, three months. Thailand, three months. South Korea, three months. Japan, six months. I love Japan although I wouldn't want to stay there during winter again. Once was enough, thanks. Maybe you're considering buying land or a condo. Foreigners are actually prohibited from owning land in the Philippines, but can legally own a residence. The Philippine Condominium Act allows foreigners to own condo units as long as 60% of the building is owned by Filipinos. It would be a lot cheaper buying outside Cebu City and living in the province. But I'd rather rent in the city as I'd feel too isolated living in the countryside. Cost of living is cheap. One of the positives about staying in a condo in the city is being able to negotiate a contract for a long-term rental. You can get some great deals at condos with a swimming pool and gym for around $270. As a single guy, I can emphasize the low cost of living and being able to live on a $500 budget per month, which I've made a specific video about. For me, the province or 7,000 islands are ideal to escape the city for a few days break. There's plenty of beautiful islands, white beaches, waterfalls, mountains, parks, lakes and natural beauty within a short drive from the city that offer a different experience. The sun shines all day. When the rains come, they normally come in the night, especially in Cebu. I've been to countries such as Thailand and Vietnam during the rainy season and the downfalls are quite unpleasant during the day. But I find there are few days where it rains all day in Cebu. There are food options galore. So many restaurants, cafes and food stores offering hundreds of different choices at reasonable prices. In Cebu City you could dine out at a different restaurant each night for a year at least. I've left the best until last. It's the Filipino people that make living in the Philippines so appealing. Everybody is warm, welcoming and friendly. You don't get that in other Asian countries. Yes, other Asian countries are friendly, but the fact that you're able to have a conversation in English with the majority of people you come across makes the Philippines quite a unique option. You don't get that from countries like Thailand, Vietnam or Japan, where only the minority speak English. As a single guy living alone, life can get quite lonely but the ability to have conversations on a daily basis with the girl on the checkout counter at Metro or random people you meet in the street deters that feeling of loneliness. If you liked the video, please could you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care everyone.
Thank you very much.